The USFL kicks off week four action tonight for the hometown team uh, facing some challenges ahead of its game. WVTM 13's Ryan Hennessy joins us live from Protective Stadium. Seems like the Stallions could be up against it, Ryan. They, they got a lot of injuries to deal with, or health problems anyway. Yeah, guy, that's right. The Stallions look to stay perfect going into their game tomorrow, but they have quite a depleted roster going into Saturday's matchup against Tampa Bay. Now I'm going to show you a list. Now this is the game time status for the Stallions. 12 players on this list. Nine of them you're going to see listed questionable with an illness. Most notable two of them are quarterbacks. I had a chance to speak to the head coach Skip Holtz and of the Stallions that is earlier to dive deeper into the nine players and what this illness means. Is this a COVID thing? No, I mean, it's an illness. I mean, that's what I'm allowed to say about it. It's an illness, and we've had a lot of guys that have missed practice time this week. We're certainly hoping that they will be back this week. Everybody wants to be on the side of safety. Nobody wants with, when you have eight teams all living together, we got to be smart with what we do. We got to make sure that uh, the people that, that get sick, we got to take care of them, but we also have to kind of get them away from everybody else so we can protect everybody in this. Now, the USFL teams are already smaller roster size-wise compared to the NFL college. So would the Stallions have enough players to field a team tomorrow? I'm not worried about tomorrow. We will have 38 guys to suit up and go play for the Birmingham Stallions. The Stallions of Birmingham, as we say it. We will have 38 players. We're excited to go play Tampa. So excited to play Tampa, so that means that the game could be a go tomorrow against Tampa Bay. Should be interesting to see if the Stallions can stay undefeated. In Birmingham, Ryan Hennessy, WVTM 13.